everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll guide you through the process of deploying Vim Backup for AWS using Terraform. So let's get started. The first step is to download and install Terraform on your system. I already have it installed, but if it's your first time, you can find the installation instructions on the official Terraform website. I'll leave this link on the video description below. I'll also leave in the description below a link to this GitHub repository containing the Terraform configuration files. If you click on Deploy VB AWS, you'll see all the instructions on the README file and you can just follow them, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clone the repository to our system using this command provided. You can see here I'm on my documents folder and I just cloned the repository Vim Terraform, which has all the templates inside. Next, it tells me to navigate to the deploy VB AWS folder located inside the cloned repository. So we'll CD like that. Now, we are on the deploy VB AWS folder, this folder. Next, to initialize the Terraform deployment and set up the required providers, we'll run the Terraform init command. Great we can see that Terraform has been successfully initialized. Now, we need to customize our deployment by providing values for the variables used in the deployment. So, we'll open the terraform.tfvars file and enter our desired values. If you need help remembering the values, you can go to the variables.tf file and see the AWS regions that you can choose from, the instance type, etc. So let's go back here. For the AWS region, I'm going to choose US East 1. Then for the Vim backup for AWS instance type, I'll choose a T3 medium. Next, we can specify if we want the Elastic IP to be true or false. I'm going to leave it as false. Next, the VPC where the appliance will be deployed. And now the subnet inside the VPC. And now the range of the IP addresses allowed to access the clients, I'm going to leave it open, which is okay for a demo, but not for a production environment. Next, we're going to choose the edition of Vim Backup for AWS that we would like to deploy. We're going to use the free edition, which allows us to backup up to 10 instances with all the capabilities of the enterprise edition. Finally, we're going to specify the IAM role, which we want to have access to the bucket. And then specify the IAM user that will have access to the bucket. Once we've customized the variables, we can save it and proceed with the deployment. Let's run the terraform plan command to preview the changes that will be made. Here are all the changes and you can review the plan output to ensure everything looks good. If everything is as expected, we can move forward with the deployment. So we'll execute the terraform apply command to provision the necessary resources and deploy Vim Backup for AWS. Now we should put yes. And during the deployment, 
Terraform will create the required resources. Here is the instance ID. Make sure to take note of it because we'll need it to complete the initial setup. To access the Vim backup for AWS Web UI and start configuring it, go to the terraform.tf state file and then look up public underscore IP, which is, let's find it here, here which is the EC2 instance IP address. So copy the IP address and paste it on your browser. The web browser may display a warning notifying that the connection is untrusted, but this is normal and you can just go ahead to advanced and proceed or you can replace the TLS certificate that is currently used to secure traffic between the browser and the backup appliance with a trusted TLS certificate. Next, accept the license agreement and you will have to provide the instance ID again. So let's go back, let's get the instance ID, copy it, paste it, now we have to create a username and a password for the default user. And we can log in with the username and password we just created. After logging in, you'll be presented with an overview of new features and you can skip it for now and proceed to the next video to start the configuration settings. And that's it. You have successfully deployed a Vim backup for AWS using Terraform. With this powerful backup solution, you can start protecting your AWS workloads seamlessly. When your testing or your use is complete, you can go back to your code editor and run the terraform destroy command to delete all the resources that were created in the deployment. You see everything that will be destroyed, yes. And now everything will be destroyed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Also, if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.